it looks like this was a fail. My special guest was supposed to be Jaron Jackson Jr., but I think he has other NBA commitments. Chalk this up in the lost column. Now a sad song dedicated to Jaron's absence here. Triple J. Talking about junior, not senior. Your daddy was a champion on the Spurs. And now you're projected top three. Got a duffel bag. I guess we'll never find out what's in it. Cause you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe one day though. One day, Jaron. One day when you're not too big time, <laughs> maybe you'll pull up to the office and maybe we could actually get this interview going. That's Dre on the intercom. Uh, yeah. All right. Back to Best of luck in the NBA, Jaron. So after a disappointing morning when Jaron Jackson Jr. canceled on his last minute, I have recovered. We are at a undisclosed location, and we're about to talk to some potential draft picks. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh. I'm here with Aaron Holiday, repping UCLA. Yes, sir. Who's the greatest UCLA player? Um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Chill, man. Hey, do I call you Shay or can I call you Gil? Shay, please. <laughs> oh, come on, no, man. You got it. Whatever you want it to be. Who's the best Kentucky player? On our team or of all time? All time. Oh, that's a different Oh, so you're taking yourself out of the equation now? Yeah, all time? All time. I'm about to go. Uh, I'm about to go AD. Alright, let's start the rapid questions right now. Why do players wear shooting sleeves on their non-shooting arm? I don't know. I played in the sleeve just to protect my elbow. To be honest, I don't know. I don't never wear shooting sleeves, but I guess they think it look cool. You think it's corny? Uh, no, I just... When you're walking on that draft stage, are you going to give Adam Silver a dap or a corporate handshake? No, a corporate handshake. It's a business, baby. Probably a corporate handshake. I'm gonna give you some pro advice, all right? Because last night I was watching a lot of videos. Adam Silver starts up top like this. Okay. So well, you I gotta know. read him. I gotta read him. Whatever he does, and yeah, he brings it down like this, and you shake. Oh, so you walk up to me. I'm like this. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you gonna do that yeah. to Adam too? Game one, NBA Finals. Oh, hey, George. <laughs> Come on, Jr. Put it, put it up, Jr. Bro, I didn't know what the score was. <laughs> I. I <laughs> Who in this draft class would you like to posterize? Give me names. Bring that smoke. Uh, Kevin Knox, Jerry Vanderbilt, uh, Hamidou Diallo, and Wayne Gabriel. Who in this draft class would you like to cross up? Um, all of the guards rank higher than me, I guess you could say. What's heavier, a pound of feathers or a pound of sand? Uh, both of them. Neither. A pound of feathers or a pound of sand? They're both a pound, aren't they? Your team has a potluck. What item are you bringing? Hmm. I got the drinks. Fruit punch, lemonade, all that. Oh, man. He about to say sour cream and onion chips. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Give me, give me something. Give me a food. Give me a drink. Give me something. Um, What's your favorite food? My mom's homemade lasagna. That's what you bring in. You're camping in the woods. You hear a rustling in the middle of the night. Uh -huh. It's a celebrity. She's freezing cold, looking for body heat. Who do you see? You said, who do we see? Who do you see? Uh, I'm going with Rihanna again. Um, shoot. Shoot your shot, baby. Shoot. No. Um, Tanache? Okay. Who I, that? <laughs> who that? Yeah, who's that? You better, better go Google that. Hoodie Mellow versus Durag LeBron. Who wins? I'm going to go with Durag LeBron. LeBron every time. Okay. No matter what LeBron's wearing. Okay. Last question. Should the NBA allow non-NBA players to participate in All-Star Weekend activities, whether it be a dunk contest or a three-point contest? Uh, I mean, I don't know. You can go both ways with it, because there are some great dunkers that aren't in the league, but 
the people paid to see the NBA players, so that's a tough one. Yo, let's be honest. That's a tough one, bro. The NBA dunk contest fell off for it a couple has, years. It has, for sure. It could spark things up, for sure, so I'll say you should do it, for sure. Even the three-point contest. Yeah. It's falling off, so I'm going to say put the all the dunkers from who's not in the league, put them in there. Dunk contest, yes, but no other events. Okay. And some guys with some bounce out there. I need some incentive though, some real incentive. I mean, hey, you about to, you about to get a home court advantage. If you, couple racks, what's good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, he George killed it. Yo. Three, two, one, go. Ah, that wraps it up for day one. Tomorrow is another day, another opportunity for us to talk to some more draft picks. So, take it away. We were about to head back to the office. I was in that restroom. Hey, in the restroom. What's good, man? <laughs> What's going on, man? I'm just good. How you doing? I was going to get an interview with his guy, but. He's a big man. I failed. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to get it. Wait, hold up. Coming very soon. Had to do that. Jaren, let me, let me ask you one question, though, okay? Now, you better bring the smoke, okay? I'm Who in this draft class would you like to posterize? Give me names. Definitely Miles. I'm posterizing Miles. You gotta, you gotta try to posterize Mo because of his length. Look, his arms, it's crazy. You gotta try it. Nah, bamba. Gotta, gotta, yeah. <laughs> gotta try to get Mo. Oh man, I gotta get a third. You gotta try to get Colin because he's just, he's young bull. I mean, okay. You gotta, you gotta try it. And uh, what's heavier, a pound of feathers or a pound of sand? I'm sand. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, 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 it's wrong. No. Oh. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. As soon as he asked me, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I messaged you. I gotta go right now. Hey. Alright, have a great show, man. So it is currently the next day. We are at the NBA Draft Media Day. And unfortunately, we do not have credentials. We didn't apply in time. So we are currently locked out. As you can see, the line is all the way. That's also Jaron Jackson over there doing an interview with Steve Smith. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. I guess we'll just head back to the office or the gifting suite. We don't know. Play it by ear.